Throughout history, bridges have been the most fought over structures on the battlefield. The enemy will fight tooth and nail to disable them, turn them to ruins, or blow them to pieces. In World War II, the Germans, Italians, and Japanese all employed explosive motorboats as a technique to destroy Allied bridges. You point at your target, open up the throttle, you nip off the back in your scuba kit. The thing screams towards your target, hits it, and explodes. When the resulting gap needs to be crossed, it's the engineers who step in. Building bridges is the engineers' greatest skill. In World War II, they will be one of the busiest elite units. Europe's battlefields are laced with small, fast flowing rivers. Many of the crossings have been destroyed. Allied engineers now need a light, portable bridge that can take the strain of heavy armor. Anyone who could develop a bridge that would carry the heavy weight but could essentially be assembled by hand, that would be the magical mousetrap that the world would be the path to your door. The solution came from an unlikely source, a British civil servant called Donald Bailey. Bailey was working at an experimental bridging establishment, overseeing engineers' efforts to come up with a new bridge. Returning home from witnessing another failed attempt, he had a flash of inspiration. For Donald Coleman Bailey, returning from a failed bridge test, he sketched out the Bailey Bridge on the back of an envelope. Bailey's new bridge was an evolution in design. A vision of flat pack simplicity. It could support tanks across 200 feet of water. All you needed to erect it were some wrenches and a few engineers. The Bailey Bridge is a prefabricated bridge and it could be broken down into parts, trucked to a site and then reassembled in a big hurry. The bridge's utility would soon be tested. Italy, 1944, and Allied forces are fighting the Germans at Monte Cassino. British engineers are given the task of building a Bailey Bridge to get tanks and artillery across the fast-flowing River Rapido. Come on, move on! The site is an inferno of fire and smoke, but the order has come through that this bridge must be built at all costs. As night falls, heavy fire from snipers and mortars rains in. As the bridge lorries, bringing the bridge parts to the site, began rolling up, the enemy started shelling the bridge site and making it almost impossible to get anything done. The men were being picked off one by one by a sniper located just yards away. There was a German, probably 50 or 60 yards away, and he kept firing, but he couldn't see. He kept firing indiscriminately. Men were being wounded, and the bridge couldn't be finished. The sniper had to be silenced. An engineer stepped forward. Sergeant Parry volunteered to go forward with a Bren gun and eliminate this German gun which he did very successfully. The sniper fell silent. The engineers finished the job. The Bailey Bridge across the Rapido was not just a turning point for the battle at Monte Cassino, but for the war in Italy. Later, American President Eisenhower would acclaim it as one of the pieces of equipment that most contributed to the victory in Europe. Bailey Bridge was one of the most incredible engineering feats of World War II. 